Hey everyone, it's Innocent here. It's January 2020. Here are my top 5 apps that you might want to try and install. Before we dive into the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. So number one on the list today in the first app of the year is called Vision Board. So Vision Board is basically here to help you visualize your dreams and goals by providing you with this nice interface where you can place your visions and your goals on there. So the Vision Board, the first one here gives you the opportunity to add your visions over here. So when you click on the plus sign on top here, You'll be able to add your visions and your goal you'll be able to categorize it over here and perhaps add a description just like one that i've done over here that i need to get an 8000 subscribers by my birthday which is on the 19th of january the life purpose over here also gives you the opportunity to add your life purpose so you can write this to remind yourself anytime and then the affirmations here are so beautiful like when you click on the play sign over here it gives you these beautiful changes and you can look at this anytime or every morning to get yourself inspired before you get out there these are some beautiful quotes and beautiful inspiration and affirmations that you can do to yourself or you can have for yourself before you step out every single morning this app is a very simple app very beautiful interface it comes with a pro version and the free version and then you can check your affirmation of the day every single day so to get your dreams visualized try my vision board and let me know what you think moving on to number two is called live wallpapers so basically i've reviewed some wallpapers that you probably have look but this one is the beautiful wallpapers now check my home screen setup here what do you think this is a beautiful live wallpaper and it was grabbed from this app that i'm talking about so as live wallpapers you have some beautiful 4k or hd wallpapers which are also live so these wallpapers are not just wallpapers so let me click on this one wait for it to load the preview and look at this this right here is so beautiful you can use this as your wallpaper or your screensaver but a quite unfortunate thing is that you can save this to your gallery so to use it you just have to click on the share sign over here and then you wait for it to sort of download or load for you and then boom the wallpaper has been changed so when i head over to my wallpaper there you have it very beautiful to talk about the battery life this one doesn't really take much of your battery so you don't need to worry about your battery life if you are that person that would want to go according to the categories you can come to this side so many beautiful things rain snow space and a lot of things that you can have over here additionally they have these static beautiful wallpapers so they don't just provide you with live wallpapers but static ones as well so if you are not interested in the live wallpapers you might want to come for the static ones as well so try this wallpaper app and let me know what you think in the comment section now it's number three on the list today is called google keyboard now this keyboard is a standard keyboard from google so you know how brilliant it can be right the first thing that i love about this and perhaps you can also love it is the simplicity this keyboard doesn't come with that italized test it's just a simple typeface that anybody at all can just see it the second thing is i love the brilliancy when you go to the settings for instance you are able to customize it the test correction the glide sliding voice typing and everything is set on point and mind you this particular keyboard sorts information from google so you can know how brilliant it can be right i love the fact that it can easily correct you when you are typing something or it can e easily suggest the words for you i know that one a lot of keyboards has it so now let's go to the beautiful part sometimes finding your favorite emoji that is the pizza can be so 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 hectic so this brilliant keyboard is going to help you when you type pizza right over here it is going to bring you your pizza when you type something like sun it is going to bring you your sun so all that you need to know 
is the name of your emojis and then this brilliant keyboard is going to bring it to you mind you the simplicity and the brilliancy is what attracted me the most so you can try google keyboard and let me know of what you think so at number four is called do it later so this is a scheduling type of app that is here to help you to do your schedules so it has a list of things that it can do for you a reminder a message email the fake call and your favorite twitter so basically if you want this app to remind you of something you just have to choose the reminder test your message and you set the time at the time here you can basically customize it right over here if you don't want the intervals that has been given on to you you can just customize it and then you are good to go you can schedule messages right over here to be sent to people so you can click on this sign to add a group of contacts that you want to send this particular message to and then you can even create a group for them so this particular thing you just set it and then you sleep off and when the time is to you it just sends it over to you it happens the same with the email and the twitter but this fake call right here is something that needs to be talked about so for instance i set a name like cyber reviews right over here a big shout out to cyber reviews and i can just give him any number at all and say that in 15 seconds this number should just call me so if you are with somebody and then you just need an excuse to leave you can use this particular app please don't use it on your relationships you're going to break your relationships so after 15 seconds this particular thing is going to give you a call and that was it this particular app is on top notch it's a different thing on its level you can just try it use it for your schedules and let me know what you think in the comment section so wrapping it up on the first edition of the 2020 app reviews is called find my device so i recently discovered this app when i lost my phone and i was trying to find it if you haven't watched the video of how I got scammed, it is linked up in the description. You can check it out. This particular device is here to help you secure your phone, even when it gets lost. So the moment you realize that you've lost your phone, one thing that you can do is you can download this app. And then probably if you have your location on, you can trace this particular app. This may help you to locate your phone. So this is how it works. You can sign in as a guest or you can just use your normal gmail account and then once you sign in you can find or locate the phone so this is my, the current location of my phone it gives you the battery life the sim card on it and then the phone brand or something like that and then the actual location of the phone this is powered by google maps so it is quite secure and safe this is my previous phone that got stolen that was the samsung galaxy j7 new so if i had my location on at that time probably i could have still traced it over there and this works on phone that you've signed in with your gmail account so this particular one is working because i have signed in with my gmail account now if you can't find it you can easily secure it i don't have a password mm -hmm. on my phone so you can just basically create a password on this phone so that whoever is holding it can't do anything to the phone or perhaps if you just misplace it and you want to quickly find it you can click on the play sound over here so that it can just start ringing and you find the location of the phone so you can just play on this one and it gives you that noisy sound that wherever the phone is you can just quickly go and you find it i hope this app is really going to help somebody find your phone if it does come back over here and comment so yeah that wraps it up for the first edition of the monthly apps do let me know about your thoughts about these apps and suggest in the comment section if you want any app to be reviewed in the next coming month be sure to check the previous edition the 2019 edition from january to december i review five apps every single month do check them out and let me know about your thoughts if you have any app that you want to be reviewed in the next coming months thank you so much for sticking around and watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll get back to you with another video we are almost at 8,000. let's get there real quick by sharing liking and commenting i'll come back with another episode 
Thank you so much, and I'll see you. It's Innocence here, and bye.